This afternoon, I've got the great pleasure of interviewing Alex Temblador, who incredibly is living in Dallas in Texas and tells me that all the cities in Texas are liberal and go blue at election time. Alex, the world is a fascinating place and you've taught me a lot this afternoon. The other thing about you, which I think is, it makes you unusual amongst the other people I've interviewed so far, is you're actually a published author. You're a storyteller of some re repute. And one of the things that's obviously interesting about your writing is to focus on family history and people discovering their roots. It's really interesting in terms of racism. So you've written a book called Secrets of the Casa Rosada and another one which I'm absolutely fascinated by and certainly I'm going to buy for my wife, which is Half Outlaw. So really, thank you for making time this afternoon to talk to me, Alex. Thank Alex, you for having me. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure. You're a real bundle of fun. Racism isn't a bundle of fun, though. And I was introduced to you by Justin Francis, and he suggested that you'd be a really good person to get some understanding of racism and racism and tourism. So if you assumed I know nothing, which is nearly true, what would you tell me about racism and tourism? What would you what would you say to a complete novice on the issue? Yes. So the other day I was having this conversation with somebody who was saying, why would you make travel or tourism a bad thing? It's a great thing. You people go and they discover who they are and what they want to be and um, learn about the world and cultures. But the thing about that is while we're traveling and while we're having fun, we don't always recognize that throughout the decades that tourism has been building, racism has been integrated into it. It's a system. It's part of the system. It's always been there. It's never gone away. And it does affect different communities at different levels and different travelers at different levels too. Um, but it's just as it is anywhere in the world in different parts of society, it's definitely in travel and tourism too. Um, and once you start to train your eye to see it, you start noticing, oh, these companies don't have a lot of people of color who are marketed in their uh, advertising materials. Um, maybe they don't advertise to people of color and communities of color in low income neighborhoods or different neighborhoods around the US. Um, additionally, maybe, you know, travel agents don't have any people of color who are their clients. Um, we do know, you know, historically hotels in the US were very segregated. You couldn't actually stay in hotels um, if you were black, but it, there are still instances now in which people of color get treated negatively, whether they're going through hotels, they're going through the airport and customs in the US or the UK or anywhere in the world, honestly. Um, so it's built into almost every part. So it takes a lot of deconstructing to see it, to recognize it and to do something about it. Alex, are you optimistic that we can do something about it or do you think it's a lost cause? No, I don't think it's a lost cause. I think it takes so much awareness to begin with. Um, I think a lot of people in the tourism industry and travel industry are concerned that if they admit that it's there, that they had something to do with it. And yes, we all have a little bit of blame in that, but I don't think that's where our focus should be. It's okay, this has been happening, we didn't recognize it. Now, how do we go from there? Um, being human is recognizing our mistakes and our failings and going and making changes, trying to do better for everybody. I think, you know, the great thing about travel is, in, and the tourism industry, is that all of these people come together to try to give something back to communities, to try to show them the world. If we want to do that, we want to do it well, I think we need to be able to do that for everybody equally. Um, and so I've seen people go to the extremes for their travel and tourism business. I know that they can do this. Um, it just takes a little bit of learning and a little bit of discomfort and asking for help whenever you don't understand something that deals with racism in the tourism industry. Alex, I think we'll end it there for this short video, but there's going to be another interview in a minute, which will be longer. And I'm going to ask you there how you think we can address the issue. But thanks very much for that introduction to the issue as you see it. I'm very grateful.